Hello. Um, if you are trying to do a moderated uh, usability test or something where a user has a set of tasks and you're trying to track time on task and you're having like a hard time manually tracking it with a stopwatch or some sort of web app or something like that, um, this is a way of automatic, kind of automatically tracking time on task with a couple checkboxes into any sort of Google Sheet. You don't have to use this template. Um, I'm going to explain how to put it in, in another template, um, but you can copy this um, and and work with it if you want um, on your own. And I will explain what this uh, what this template is. So um, just to start to see how the how to use this sort of thing. Um, so if a user has uh, started the task that they need to start that you identified, then you would click or hit spacebar on um, the task begin column. And then whenever it is that they have finished, like whatever your set end is, then uh, you can, you'd click on the task end column. And then uh, when you click on each of those columns, a timestamp is put in at that point uh, into a different column. And then there is a separate column with an equation that calculates uh, what that difference in time is in seconds. Um, if you want it in minutes, like if you're tracking something really long, you can change this, so remove the last 60 um, on it to make it minutes if you want. But um, yeah, and then if you say you wanted to, you know, you accidentally hit one of the buttons or, um, or whatever, then you could hit the reset and it resets the whole thing. Uh, and so what you would do is you would say like, task one, or oops, task two, whatever, task three, um, so on and so forth. And then, you know, as that person does that task, you go and then you click each one. Um, and then you continue down the line. And then what you can do is you can hide these columns if you want to make it easier. Um, and you can just get this. Um, also, if for whatever reason, like if you want to you know, copy and paste that data. You can copy um, and you can make sure to paste and paste uh, values only. Uh, and then that'll give you this. Uh, you can change that, you know, you could do whatever you want with that. If you want to like create averages, that whole sort of thing. Um, but that's a just an easy way to copy that data. Um, and if you wanted to copy this whole sheet for each participant or for each session, then uh, this script, the way that this script is set up, is to identify anything that has session in the title, just because that's what I happen to call uh, my sessions. Uh, so you would just create another one, uh, as long as it has the name session in it, spelled um, obviously the correct way with the correct, the same capitalization, um, and the same, uh, it will work in the same way. Oh, I have it actually set up, so it's, because I, that was from an old version, so. If you wanted to do this, you just copy that sheet and then it'll work the same. Um, and then say you do something and you say, oops, they did not actually just end it. Uh, what you can do is delete that column really quickly um, and then hit that again, um, recheck that, and it will re-trigger it. Um, I can also make a, a, a version of this script that will do it for each like a check and uncheck it will so say like if you check it it leaves the timestamp and then if you uncheck it theoretically it should delete the timestamp uh i may do that and um if i do it'll be after this video so i will just go ahead and create basically um in the script which i can go ahead and show you now i will put uh an additional function in the script and then comment that function accordingly um, so it's super clear. But now to show the actual script, um, this is here if you want to edit it or copy it or put it in another sheet, like one of your own sheets. Um, you can go and click extensions and then app script. And then this is where the actual JavaScript lives. Um, but I also included it here just in case you didn't want to go ahead and do all of that. Um, you can just go through all of this. Uh, copy and paste. Um, it won't paste the, the, the uh, what do you call them, cells or anything like that. But anyways, um, so just to give you an overview of how it works, there's three things um, 
that actually matter. And I will go ahead and separate these things. These are right here. Uh, I commented out as you can touch these variables with a little smiley face. Um, the variables are the sheet name, the start row, and the task begin column. Um, I will, the sheet name I explained earlier, it's just whatever the sheet is named. Um, and then to actually explain the other two, I will go to here because I put uh, a little comment on, here we go, a little comment on uh, where these actually are in the sheet. So the task begin column, which is what it is right there, um, refers to the first column that you want the function to actually look at basically. Um, so the function needs a range to operate in, and this is the range that the function operates in, this whole, um, it just keeps going down basically. Um, so you give it the, the first column in that range and then the row in that range. And then I have it automatically set up um, to have each of these columns in this order. Uh, so it will automatically assign those. If you want to change them, then you can, uh, you would just go here and then like set this to, you know, three or whatever you wanted to do if you want it on the third column. Otherwise, you can just leave it as is. But yeah, that's, um, those are the only things you would really need. So if you wanted to say, put this in like, um, you know, a separate area in your sheet, like if you had a whole bunch of instructions, different formatting and stuff like that. You had all the things up here and stuff like that. You can, uh, and you would just have to designate then this section basically uh, as a section you want the function to actually operate in. Um, but yeah, there you go.